guys, Shipper 1000 here. Just a quick vlog. We're gonna go ahead and pull this hub off here. This is not really a how-to, but it's just what I'm doing. <laughs> Cause I'd like to take the boat out this weekend. We went and got our we got it registered, got our sticker, got the plates for the boat or for the trailer, so Thought I'd just bring you along with me on this. All right, now let's go ahead and I'm jack this up a little bit. The heaviest thing about this this boat is just the motor so look at that wow all right go ahead and pull these off of here Monkey's going to stop by where I used to work tomorrow at the trailer place. <coughs> My buddy Johnny there, he'll, he'll hook us up with what we need. I don't know. <coughs> Might just get a whole hub. Sometimes it's cheaper. Well, as cheap to buy a whole hub as it is to buy new bearings and seal. Um, but... We'll just have to see. Alright. I usually don't wear these things, but... That stuff's nasty. That grease in there. So, I thought I'd put a pair of gloves on. Alright, so... We're just going to... Yeah, they did not... Um, they didn't grease these bearings, I can tell you that right now. And the place they got it done at is right beside where I used to work. At the trailer place. Right beside it. Because they would send any trailer work, they would send up to us. So... I know they didn't they didn't send this one up there because this this has never been greased. And they wouldn't do that where I used to work. Well, at least I wouldn't anyway. I mean So we're just gonna have to see. I forgot to bring something to set my parts on. It should come with all this. If they got it, they should have. This is pretty common. Pretty common bearing and stuff. Yeah, see? They never greased that. Look at that. Seal's completely gone. There's the seal. Right here's the seal. And this is what's left of the. Uh, so the spindle feels good. This is what's left of the um, the inner bearing race. What happens is when that bearing starts going out. These things get hot. When they get hot, it kind of welds this on there. So I'm going to have to go get a hammer and probably a chisel. I may have to crack that to get that off there. We'll just have to see. Um, yeah, there's... 
there's pieces in here of the old of the old Mary. I might be able to just get the bearings and seal, but whatever's cheaper, you know. So let me go get. You know, sometimes, sometimes you can get them to spin, but I don't think this one's going to. This one's going to fight me. All right, let me go get a hammer and chisel, and I'll be right back. Okay. What I may have to do, if this don't work, I may have to get my cutting wheel, give it a little slice there. I'll bring you a little closer so you can kind of see what we're doing here. Like I said, this is not really how to, it's just something I'm doing. I may have to give it a slice right there, but we'll see if I can't get this to come off first. Doesn't feel like it's moving any. I don't think it is. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Well, I'm gonna have to slice it. When you cut these, you don't want to get into that spindle too much, but like I said, it's not really how to. So I just put a slice in it. I should have went over here on the side, but and then that should just crack it enough where it'll slide out of there. Okay, we got it to move, so that's a good thing. Now these are case hardened, you know, they're very hard steel. There we go. Probably can't see inside there, but there. Little crack in there. That's all it takes that crack down through there. That's all it takes. And that just gives it enough to where. See, sometimes. See, this is part of the bearing and uh, sometimes these will actually spin on that spindle and it wears the spindle out and then you got what you got to do is you got to cut this these welds and put a new spindle in we got lucky uh, it's a pretty beefy spindle for what what axles on it it's just uh, I think it's a thousand pound axle so now all it needs is See the uh, the bearings. Sometimes you got to step down where the rear bearings bigger around than the front bearing, but we can just we can see it takes the same size bearing. I'll have to clean that up with some sandpaper or emery cloth. You're not going to want to. You always want to do that by hand. Don't use your power equipment for that. So, all right. So I think, I think we can get by. Let's, let's check this out. I think the hub's, hub's okay. I think, I think what we'll do is just put new bearings because it comes with that race. You just knock that race out of there. Yeah. 
The hub is okay. The studs are okay. The lugs. I think we can get by with just a set of bearings and a uh, and a seal. Seal is what keeps the grease in it. Okay, so I'm going to get that. I think really all she's going to have to take is, you know, is the bearing. I'll put it all in a bag for her and Johnny will take care of, he'll get us taken care of. He was my parts guy. Uh, that's all he does all day long. Look up parts, sell parts, and stuff like that. So he pretty much knows what he's doing there. Um, so, I think I'm going to check the other side, see how it is. We'll go from there. And here's another example. Now, I just adjusted it. It was just a little out of adjustment, but look at that. See how brown that is? Those were not greased back in March. Okay, see, it looks like they may have tried, but to me, those are not greased. That should either be fresh red or fresh green. So I'll have to go ahead and uh, I'll have to um, grease them up, but this one feels pretty good now. So, all right, got a little dry crack on the tires. I'm not really worried about it. We do have a spare, so that's good. All right, guys. Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead Put this ball on here. I thought that was an inch and a quarter, but it's an inch and seven eighths, and that's the ball I've got here. So let's go ahead. This is a two inch ball. So let's go ahead, take this off if we can. Hopefully, we won't have to heat it. Am I recording? There we go. Good. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on, man. Right, well, okay, but what I got to do real quick is I got to make sure I either have to have it like this or down like that so since this trucks a little low I may have to put it like that so what I'm going to do is just measure it out real quick and how I'm going to do that is usually one at about knee high so I'm going to measure the trailer about knee high to where the trailers live and I'll stick this right here right in there like that And you're going to want to see right there is about knee high. By the time I get the ball in there, it's going to be about knee high. So that's exactly how I'm going to put it because that's how I'm going to haul that boat. Okay, it looks like this is going to be about right. That trailer, you know, just it's got them little ass small tires on it. This is the way we're going to do it here. I don't know why they had that on there, but I'm going to put it back. I'm gonna put a lock nut on here. This is this is a, a lock washer. This is a lock washer too because it's beveled like this. See? Don't hammer those flat. They're supposed to be like that. What you do is when it tightens down, it spreads that out and puts pressure on your nut. Keeps your nut from coming loose. So what I'm gonna do, I don't think I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use this here. Hopefully, this will spin it on here where I don't have to break out a wrench. And I forgot that stuck in there. There we go. <coughs> Alright. Probably could have used that nut, but... Okay, hate when this line gets to leaking like that. Just kind of 
kind of buggered up. So we should be able to take it out for its maiden voyage. This puppy is ready to rock and roll. I also got these. These are locks. So, see, these ex these inserts, the balls aren't too bad. They're about 17 bucks, but this is like 50 bucks here, right? So, somebody can just, if they see out, they can pull that pin, pull that pin out, slide this out, and run off. So what this does is it takes place of that and it has a lock on it. So let's go ahead and open this up. He gave this to me. It came in the boat with the boat. Got that. Oh shit. Probably going to have to find something. To... Now these locks are not foolproof, but somebody don't they don't like messing with them. They'll just look for something like that. So let's go ahead. Make sure this is going to fit. Get you down here. Yeah, you can see okay, but put this in here. Just like that, and then this slides on. I guess I need the key to lock it. So There we go. Comes with two keys. These are pretty pricey too, but they are handy. Like I said, they're not foolproof. But, you know, it's only protecting, you know, $60 or $70 worth of stuff. So, every little bit helps, right? So, I can't see it. It should have just slid on there. And it's locked. There it is. Nobody can pull that out. To whereas the other one, like I said, all you had to do, you know, well you saw, hopefully, is you just pull this pin out, slide that out, boom, and they run off with your stuff. At least it's some kind of deterrent. If they gotta work for it, at least, you know, maybe you're only in somewhere for a few minutes you know getting a sandwich maybe you can see them or whatever so there you go like it said the other day man these things have hurt more people than a gun i think man i know i've been boom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this back out so monkey don't hurt herself on it i'm going to put it inside the truck what i'll do is i'll put this pin here that way it doesn't get lost. Like I said, it's got the little rubber boot. Kind of keeps your the water out. Like I said, it's not foolproof, but I forget what these cost. I think they're around 20 bucks, depending on where you go. And you might be able to get them online cheaper, but they're well worth it. Of course, this is for smaller, that's half inch. But I'm gonna keep this, I'll keep this in my toolbox. And uh in case we want to tow something else, you know, that for somebody or for us or whatever. All right. So, there's that. Now, I'm going to put these on the key ring. Well, I'm going to keep one in the shop with my toolbox keys. I'll put one on the key ring of the truck. 
had a guy one day had a work order had to cut that lock off of there guy lost his key okay he wanted to put another insert in to haul a different size trailer all right so i got up under there my cut off tool i just cut it off and there we go i said why do you need to cut that off for anyway what's he said well you come out with the other one he says well because it's a different size ball i said why didn't you just have me change the ball it would have been cheaper because we would change these balls for people for nothing well i had to charge him labor to cut that lock off and then he had to buy a new pin i said you know i could have just changed that ball for you for nothing Cause, but you know it didn't sound a work order what for he just wanted it cut off so i cut it off for him and then he was like you should see the look on his face he was like uh dude i don't know i wasn't even thinking because you know like i told him i said didn't sound a work order it just said cut it off so i did i could have just changed that ball for him for nothing for free ended up costing him well, actually, I think he went ahead and bought, bought another set of these. I think they were like 25 bucks, 20, 25, whoops, 20, 25 bucks. And then labor, I had to charge him a minimum. Well, you're supposed to charge a minimum of 30 minutes, but I felt bad for the guy, so I only charged him 15 minutes, which that was uh, about, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. It was about $25, so it ended up costing him around you know 50 60 bucks with tax and stuff when i could have just changed the ball for free but he wasn't thinking you know it happens to the best of us okay guys like i said it's not really how to it was just i thought i'd bring you along with me monkey's going to she's going to go to wendy's get some stuff to eat um because it got late by the time we got back from the the title place and getting the getting the, the the boat registered and they had trouble with the trailer because her birth date was different and it kept saying september and she's like no and so the woman had called tallahassee find out what's going on to get that straight now that took almost a half an hour but anyway so oh i need to get the sticker put on the boat to see the numbers stay the same down here in florida you keep the number the number goes with the boat you just got to buy your sticker your registration sticker um so we got the tag for the trailer everything's legal there so hopefully saturday fingers crossed weather permitting um and hopefully they, they got the bearings or the hub assembly that i need um they should have they they keep a lot of that stuff in stock it's not a special spindle so um, I looked at the numbers and it's it's a pr it's a pretty common bearing we keep in stock there. I keep saying we. I don't work there anymore, but because of my physical condition. But yeah, I miss it though. Had a lot of fun working there. But anyway, so providing that goes good, and I can get that put on tomorrow night. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe that'll be the late night in the shop tomorrow night. I'll put them. Uh, I'll put the hub on. But. Um, Saturday, hopefully, if it's not raining, we're going to take it out for its maiden voyage, at least maiden voyage for, for us, and we're going to make sure it runs good and everything, you know, um, I still got to have, I still got to do some adjustments, um, which you do right there at the motor, it's no big deal, I don't have to get inside it or anything, or I shouldn't have to, I mean, if I have to, I can, but it seems to run pretty good in the tank test. So I want to make sure that it's going to run all right under a load, you know, with, you know, pushing the boat and me and her and all her stuff. So, uh, although it's not that heavy, but even in water, I mean, you know, make sure there's no leaks. He said there isn't any leaks. He said it will take on a little bit of water around the bung plug. Not worried about that. He probably just not tightening it up enough but that way i can make sure there's no leaks at all somebody's out front hang on guys okay guys sorry about that boys looking at the ford um they stopped by the other day and looked at it and they come back and wanted to hear it run they took it for a drive so anyway i forget what i was talking about so hopefully Saturday, we can take the boat out, make sure there's no leaks and stuff like that, and then 
if not hopefully we can get a good weekend before it gets cold and I can get it up in there and get it painted and uh, you know scrape all the old paint off she wants to go with the same color so we'll just take a chip in and match it up the best we can because it looks good with the bimini top on it so anyway so that's that so so that might be our uh, late night thing tomorrow night I might get a big old light over there we can shine on us and we'll put the bearings on it and and that thing should be pretty close to being dunked in the water. Well, it will be ready to be dunked in the water. So, that'll be awesome. All right, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Monkey should be coming back any minute. She took Bruno with her. He likes to go for a little ride once in a while. So, anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching the vlog. Bye-bye, guys.